afternoon. Tom Johnson, Fair Game Laguna, along with the great Mayor Sue Kemp. How are you, Sue? I'm great. Beautiful day. In oh, my gosh. It's hard to beat SoCal. Right. So Isn't true, it? right? So true. I was out puddling around today in my uh, uh, my convertible top down. And, oh, it, it was just so nice and so enjoyable and uh, yeah. just gets so relaxing. Um, well, I think some good things are happening around town. One thing that really caught my attention was the ordinance at the last city council meeting where um, you passed the first reading and it was on the kind of sprucing up of Laguna Beach, you know. Laguna Beach is such a great place, but because of some of the buildings, the businesses that have gone out and everything, some places are kind of tired. Yeah, And I think this is kind of something that, you know, works towards upgrading that. Talk about it. Yeah, so we have this, it's a commercial maintenance ordinance in place now. And the goal of it is to you know, get people who haven't been fixing up their, their properties, property owners, is to get them moving. So we started a program called the Charm Challenge. And anytime a business owner will fix up their buildings, we'll highlight that for them. But the main incentive is, and hopefully this works for them, is that we waive their fees like for painage, painting and signage and other maintenance work that needs to be done to encourage them to, you know, hey, get busy. And we're hoping that, you know, if a few property owners do it, we'll get sort of a, you know, kind of organically, we'll get more and more property owners to do uh, you know some maintenance work on their buildings, we have about twenty five to thirty properties that we're kind of targeting in the kind of the downtown core, uh, okay. which is an, an insignificant number. You know, since we have a lot of old buildings, of course they need maintenance, but we're just trying to put this program in place to kind of get get it going. Now, do do the do the property owners of those places do they know that they're kind of being watched? Well, so we have an education program with them going on, you know, for the next several months. So we're basically saying, hey, we've got this program coming, you know, get ready. You know, we're going to try to, you know, get them moving through the counter at City Hall best we can. So they don't have to wait very long. But I think overall, it's a good program. It doesn't really cost us any money. You know, we're going to waive some fees, but we're not getting those anyway. And what we get in return from, you know, kind of the way our town looks, sales tax and other things, uh, it just pays off. And there's even a little contest People that like to people like to compete. There's even a little. It's called the the charm challenge. That's right. What's the charm challenge about. So it's just you know when we so let's say we have a building that's been kind of in disrepair and they fix it up. We're going to give them a little some sort of reward and we're going to highlight it in our social media, and uh, we'll probably put it in the mayor's newsletter saying you know hey look at this we got here's another one we captured you know via the charm challenge. Well, I think it's such a good idea that. Uh, you know, we'd be happy in Stu News to commit to, you know, promoting some of those too, because I think right. it's great for everybody when we have a town that is, you know, showing um, growth and excitement and all of those things. So right. good stuff. I always say, you know, when a town looks better, it performs better. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Uh, speaking of performing better, uh, good news this week um, on the election front, mm -hmm. uh, Bob Whalen, who has been a uh, long time mainstay across the board in different things in Laguna Beach decided he's going to jump in and run for re-election it's going to be a relief for somebody like you that's been on council and so many things to still do and I know you and Bob work closely on a lot of stuff well you know he's just you know he's just a talented person um he's very smart he's very thoughtful he's thorough about his work he's actually very meticulous about his work he's a lawyer by you know by education and trade uh you know he's very collegial and he also knows how to conduct himself as a council member you don't see him losing his temper he's very even handed um you know he's good to work with as a fellow council member so that's really what you want to have you want to have more of a even though we don't agree more of a collegial atmosphere up there and he brings that um so yeah, I'm, I'm very excited that he's he's running again. Um, and the only he's the only official candidate at this point because I think um, so. Hallie's announced, and so is Judy, and their their paperwork's not in, so it's not done till it's you know signed off by Anne Marie McKay, our city clerk. There's a lot of paperwork you got to go through to get on the ballot, um, and it's, you know it's not insignificant. So you know that still has to be done by those candidates. 
Well, here's what I like. You talked about the collegial attitude uh, be between council people. So at the last meeting, you were on you know, one side of an issue. It was about the business licenses and things like that. Yep. You and a couple of council people were on one side. And you know, Bob just had a difference of opinion on it. But, but you all talked it out. Yep. And at the end, there was a vote taken and everything like that. But you would never know. It was kind of like old time politics where you have a great discussion you might disagree on something but once it's passed everything's fine you move forward well that's the way you're supposed to do it i mean he and mark orgill worked you know very hard on that it's a complicated pro yeah, complicated proposal to try to get money back to pay for the visitors coming you know into town it's not there's no easy way to do it but they did some very, very thoughtful work. And in the end, we just kind of said, we're not quite ready. We, the three of us said that. And, you know, we were all complimentary of Bob and his work. And, you know, they're going to, they're, he and Mark are going to continue to, to look at these things and bring them back. And, you know, he doesn't get mad. That's what I love about the guy. You know, yeah. he just, and I'm used to working with people like that, where you kind of bat things around and you kind of get to some conclusion, whether or not you all agree, and then you accept it and you move on. And I think that kind of discussion, uh, even when there's disagreement, makes for better outcomes. That's right. Yeah. And it makes for it makes for better government. Like when you're watching, like your observations and observations of many people that watch the meeting have told me the same thing is you guys were working very well together. And yeah. It was very yeah. It came through loud and clear. Yeah. <laughs> um, speaking of Bob, you and Bob are working on, have been working on a town hall that's coming up. Yeah, right. So we're working on just trying to educate the public about what's happening in the insurance world, particularly for fire insurance. There's a lot of things kind of evolving at the state level. And everybody's pretty much affected by this. A lot of people have had their insurance canceled or trying to find a carrier or worrying that they're going to lose their carrier. So we're going to have a town hall with the insurance commissioner uh, on August 27th from four to five at uh, City Hall. And it's kind of more probably more you know, one way com conversation what's happening, but we'll probably get a chance for a QA and a and, you know, afterwards. So I think this is the first time we've done this. And uh, I want to thank Cassie Walter, our communications person for working on this because we, I asked her to do it and she was off and running. So it's going to be good. Great. Okay. So, so we're smack in the middle of summer. Uh, yeah. What does Sue Kemp tell her friends? Uh, your friends come to town. They, you know, they want to do stuff and everything like that. What's high on your list that, these are the these are the can't misses in Laguna Beach. Well, the first thing I tell them is not to come in July. Okay, that's good advice. July is our busiest month here, and we've had a inord inordinate amount of tourists this time in July. But I tell them to come in early August, and then I take them to the festivals. I mean, I've had a lot of friends visit me. We always try to go to the pageant. We go to the Festival of Arts. You know, we go uh, to the Sawdust. It's fun because it's so unique. Yeah, uh, they all really enjoy that. Of course, we go to the beach, yeah. um, you know, enjoy some of our great restaurants, walk along Heisler. Um, so, you know, we, I, I try to think of it as a local person's view of Laguna Beach. Um, and so I, that's that's the way I kind of parade them around town. I take them down to the Montage, buy them a drink down there, even though I go broke on those drinks down there. And then, uh, you know, or go to the restaurant, out, sit outside or walk along the park there. And, you know, they just can't believe it. There's no place in the world like it. Gosh, it's great you're mayor because you make this town sound so good. And it really is. <laughs> well, it is. Hey, yeah. Thanks so much for taking time. We will catch up with you next week. Uh, keep up the good fight. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate it.